Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your man, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, before we get started, make sure to hit the like button on the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have anything to say, hit me up in the comments section. But this is going to be my final thoughts on tomorrow night's event, UFC 285, with the co-main event, Valentina Shevchenko defending her women's flyweight title against Alexa Grasso and in the main event you got the comeback of John Jones fighting for the heavyweight title against Cyril Gain. Dude these are going to be some sick ass fights and I definitely can't wait to watch them tomorrow night you dig but going into the co-main event with Valentina Shevchenko versus Alexa Grasso this is definitely going to be a really good fight. You got a girl like Valentina Shevchenko who is probably one of the best women's mixed martial artists in the game right now being undefeated in that women's flyweight division her last loss coming from amanda nunez when she was fighting in that bantamweight division but ever since she dropped down to the flyweight division she's literally been on a tear beating the brakes off of every woman that has tried to challenge her for that damn title and going against alexa grasso this is definitely going to be a very interesting matchup just for the simple fact is you got a girl like alexa grasso who is a very very technical boxer in that damn cage very fast hands loves throwing combinations and has a really really good jujitsu game when it comes down to the ground now dealing with valentina shevchenko she is arguably one of the best strikers in the game very good kickboxing probably the best counter striker in that women's division very powerful very precise really strong wrestler very strong grappling and she's extremely well at being able to mix it up to be able to keep her opponents off balance and dealing with alexa grasso i can definitely see alexa grasso being able to give valentina shevchenko problems in the boxing department the one thing alexa grasso definitely needs to do going into this fight is to stay defensively sound a lot more defensively sound than she normally is in her other fights just because of the counter precision of a woman like valentina shevchenko definitely needs to watch out for the array of kicks from valentina shevchenko and the one thing that i'm wondering is how strong is alexa grasso gonna be going up against valentina shevchenko because Shevchenko is very strong in the grappling department. I can definitely see Grasso being able to give Shevchenko problems on the feet with the pressure, forcing Shevchenko to use her clinch game, which she has been using a lot lately. And she's very strong in the clinch, very strong with being able to get the takedowns. And once she's able to get her opponents down, she's very strong with her control and being able to stifle the action of her opponents once she gets them down on the ground. And even if Shevchenko does get Grasso down to the ground, Grasso definitely has a very strong jujitsu game. I can actually see Grasso being able to give Shevchenko problems when it does get down to the ground. But if she's not able to handle the strength of Shevchenko, I can definitely see Shevchenko being able to control the pace and the tempo of this fight. And I don't see Shevchenko being able to stop Alexa Grasso, but I can definitely see Valentina Shevchenko winning a unanimous decision decision in this damn fight but only time is going to tell when this fight happens tomorrow night but when it does happen i'm definitely going to be checking it out to see who's going to win you dig but going into the main event with john jones and cyril gain this is definitely going to be a very interesting matchup to see what is john jones going to look like coming off of a three-year layoff and not only just off of a three-year layoff but moving up to the heavyweight division and going up against such a powerhouse precise kickboxer like Cyril Gain in this damn fight. The one advantage that I can give John Jones is he's definitely the more versatile fighter. Definitely is going to have the stronger wrestling, the stronger grappling going into this fight. Something that I can definitely see him using in this damn fight. But Cyril Gain is definitely going to be the better striker in this fight with John Jones and I can definitely see Cyril Gain putting the type of pressure on John Jones that's going to force John Jones to use his grappling on Cyril Gain and I can actually see John Jones winning by submission 
in this damn fight. But one of the things that I'm looking to see is what is John Jones going to look like at that heavyweight division? Is he going to have the gas tank for the division? Is he going to have the strength to be able to control a dude like Cyril Gain if he's able to get into the clinch and into those wrestling positions? Because if he doesn't have the strength to be able to deal with Cyril Gain, to be able to get him down to the ground, it can definitely be a long night for a dude like John Jones. And Cyril Gain definitely has the power to be able to knock John Jones' ass out. But going into this fight, I can actually see John Jones winning this fight by a submission victory. But only time is going to tell when this fight goes down tomorrow night. But when it does go down, I'm definitely going to be checking it out to see who is going to be the new heavyweight champion in that damn UFC division, you dig? So I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any kind of comments, any kind of questions, hit me up in the comment section and I'll be sure to hit you guys up. All right. So I hope you like the video. Holla at your man.